Assalamu alaikum my fellow learners. Here is our lecture slide on introduction to immunology and immunization. However, we are going to continue from our previous class. Which if I could be able to recall, we stopped at one vaccine, types of vaccine and immunization schedule. So today we are going to discuss on planning of immunization program. You look at your planning of immunization program. That simply means, you, how can you plan your immunization activities? What are the type of immunization programs that we are having? We are having two type of immunization program, which is the routine immunization and the mass campaign immunization. So under the routine immunization, is a kind of program that normally runs we on weekly basis in our various clinics. She ne wanda ake kai yara asibiti every week ake musu allura to da an ce routine immunization is a program wanda ake kai yara asibiti ake musu allura this sati once on the other hand muka ce kuma mass campaign idan muka ce mass campaign shine is a kind of program of immunization that usually takes place once in a year most especially in front of a district house gidan hakimi mai anguwa ko sarki nan ma aikata za su zo su zauna with their vaccine he su dinga calling attention din mutanen gari a kawo yara a musu allura daga kafi amma wannan last for the period of 5 days ba su wuce kwana biyar an gama abin da za a yi abin da yasa ke ce mishi mass campaign saboda me gabaki dai community din ake son a kawo yara that are less than 5 years for the program one chapter ma abinda ake sa ake ce mishi routine saboda me is on weekly basis kuma it is the duty of a health officer to plan for the success of immunization program kafin ki run in any of the before you run any of the two immunization program you must plan for it if not you are not going to succeed ya yin planning and there are three items ko kuma three things that are very important which we call them the 3m we have the money man and material if we're talking of money those are quickly wonders that are using to support the people that are going to run the program in terms of transportation and coping with some of their financial needs dole is a man that she was a baby a way in the last year i can the quitting that i see a mess of a g the quickies are a bm so transport so i can run the last year see you on one night immunization activities in Number two, man. You don't mean I'm a gunner, man. These are the health workers. Ma I cut a life here. One does I see I can win immunization and so I can be the man. And I'm making it in so environmental health, community health, train, but a nursing attendant, town crier, cut recorder, the sovereign suit. Material. You don't make a chain material. None me I came a gunner. You don't so vaccine, syringe, needle, swap. Geo style, kokuma vaccine carrier. Geo style, the vaccine carrier. So we need a pattern. The ake zuba vaccine achki. Then ice pack. When I arrive, when the ake zuba rua achki. When the ake sa achki a pattern. When the ake tema ka adoman ya zaman achu achki. When the vaccine is cold, in order for the vaccine not to be exposed to heat. Dola, you must have these three major items at your hand. Before running any immunization program, but they you put it up we run any immunization program while you do not have the money, material, and man at hand. You must have them before running any immunization program. Next is hazard of immunization. It don't get hazard of immunization problems that usually arise during immunization program. Number one, akache transmission of diseases. Ida mkache transmission of diseases. Haka na faruwane if you are using unsterilized equipment. A clean example, you vaccinated a child that is suffering maybe mche from hepatitis B or any other forms of sickness common couple diseases. At the end of the day, kuma anzar needle them. Instead of you to discard it, use it in withdrawing another vaccine and injecting another baby with it automatically you are passing that disease to that particular baby to kunga anam through using of unsterilized equipment i'm passing my innocent baby to ta but her they are sending me number two abscess you don't make a chair abscess she knew one a kind of tenderness thickness kumbrennan 
na sorry na kun bari karfi da wadi dan aka mutun allura sai wajen yayi karfi look somehow hard so that is absence hakan na faruwa ne due to the how should i call it due to the negligence of the health worker idan bai san yadda zai amfani da needle din shi ba idan ya dan samu a kind of problem shi yake laden to that abscess then inflammation absence of swab idan ya zama na cewa ba ai swapping din area da za a yi alluran ba ko kuma jikin needle din there is presence of microorganism automatically after inoculating that particular child with the needle kika mishi allura wa yina microorganism then zasi rani a kind of activities in that particular region which will lead to the inflammation si wajan kiga ya taro ruwa si anji ansa aga ana wanki wajan ana mishi dressi then paralysis if we are talking of paralysis she ni shangye wa a kind of potion na jikin baby wanda wa nena parwane idan aka yi injecting nishi aka taba what we call the sciatic nerves there is are some tiny nerves that we call them sciatic nerves that normally send information and sensation so once it is a minute to add, those nerves are being tempered to automatically there is going to be what we call absence last but not of the least we have the fever if we say fever that simply means elevation of the body temperature this is to tell you during immunization activities normally the babies usually develop fever so if a baby develop fever in that kind of situation the health workers usually advise you to give them a kind of paracetamol in order to sedate the high temperature kuma haka na faruwani i told you guys we have pentavalent vaccine and it contain five different antigen which we have the hepatitis b diphtheria tetanus pertussis and influenza so this is culture idan aka mai yaro alluran pentavalent saboda wannan five different antigen din sai temperature jikin shi ya rise so idan kun ga wannan is part of the hazard of immunization that usually arise next we say the cold chain idan muka ce cold chain three terms ne we have the cold sanyi chain kaman sarka haka system tsari so if we are talking of cold chain system system ne wanda we usually make sure that vaccine are maintained vaccine potency are been maintained idan muka ce vaccine potency that simply means right from the manufacturer company da aka girgirar vaccine down to the vaccination site asibitin da za a mayara da mata allura buga kafi we must make sure that those vaccine are stored and maintained under a standard temperature and they are not been exposed to heat because if they are been <coughs> sorry if they are been exposed to heat automatically those vaccines are damaged sallalace idan an yi exposing din zuwa ga zafi that is the reason why they must be maintained within one particular temperature din sanyi kuma ba a san su yi kankara sanyi ake sa musu for them to look chill next the link ya muka ce link kaman tsari na system from up to down high ranking kin so the link in nigerian a tsari culture system we have the manufacturer idan muka ce manufacturer come find the company which manufactured those vaccines airport where those vaccines will be taken before transporting down to nigeria national store we have a particular national store in nigeria that is named national store so it are how vaccine them from outside country all those vaccines are going to be stored at the national store there in habuja then the where the vaccines are going to be divided into the zonal region next which we have the zonal kokuma regional store idan muka ce zonal or regional store we are having six region kokuma six zone in nigeria so those vaccines when they are at a national store they are going to be divided into six groups kokuma six category they are going to be transported into the various regional store then from the regional store they are going to be divided them into the state store in every region it has at least four five six states that are under it we come on if we're talking of the region that is where we have the north central not south i not east and not west we have the south south southeast and southwest 
why in so many regions and ko kuma zonal stores that we are having then the state store yanzu ina muka dauki kamar north central akwai states in the kitchen where we have places like abuja nasarawa niger and the rest so a number of something that has been dropped at regional store na abuja they are going to be divided say akai ma nasarawa akai ma abuja akai ma niger and other states that are within that particular regional so that are under it then we have the local government state store kai idan ka kawo state store kuma like for instance here in kaduna after the vaccine has been brought to state store here the store we are having in kaduna state they are going to be divided into the numbers of local government that we are having in kaduna state i think is 23 no 27 so if the vaccine are been divided into the numbers of that particular local government they are also going to be transported to those various local governments ina aka yi transport a kai mai na kowane local government daga local government kuma za su divide zuwa districts that simply means idan wannan within that local government they are having numbers of district amma if they have been operated under a single district no need of dividing amma if they are having like two or three district to say arraba an kai mai kowane district then from there health facility asibitoci so they are going to be taken to various clinic daga kuma nan sai araba akai mu kowanne asibiti like here in igabi a clean example daga nan an tashi raba duk wani asibiti that is operating under igabi local government it is from the local government store that they are going to be divided into every clinic for them to have the vaccine at their disposal last but not of the least we have the clinic in aka ce clear client kai sorry is the mother and child who come orders that simply means the eye mata da yara wanda they are going to receive the vaccine so in this link this is to tell you that chewa from channel 1 to channel 8 you must make sure that your vaccine thing is not exposed to heat either during transportation ko kuma during division yayin da ake raba vaccine ko kuma ake transporting din vaccine din the vaccine must not be exposed to heat if they are exposed to it automatically that vaccines are going to be damaged kuma ba a fata ba a san those vaccines is amma na cewa they are damaged next we say the cold chain system still again muka ce this this system is necessary because vaccine are sensitive to heat ida ka ce vaccine are sensitive to it that simply means vaccines in them, if they are not stored in a kind of good way ko kuma good temperature to so they are kind of sensitive suna da dan abuta sorry not abuta very attractive to heat the zafi ya dan kado they are very attractive to it zasi attractive in shade da zai zama na cewa they can be able to survive the microorganism that aka use daga nan kuma vaccine it is going to be damaged next one muka ce a vaccine that has lost it lost its potency is useless and the potency cannot be regained once it is lost This simply means idan an baka vaccine ko an baka vaccine you did not kept it ko kuma you did not store it in the right temperature ka addi shi openly to the environment irin kai to test and see something idan ya zaman cewa it has been exposed to it ya kai stage 3 ko kuma 4 to wannan vaccine din is damaged ko da ka dawo ka addi shi cikin fridge ba zai taba komawa yadda yake da ba it has all already damaged last but not of the least shina ka ce vaccine will remain potent for a long period of time if kept at recommended temperature plus 2 to plus 8 we have a kind of scale wonder we have the plus region and the minus region so in the plus region the vaccine must be maintained between plus 2 to plus 8 when number plus 2 to plus 8 din sanyi ne ba kankara ba da ya haura plus 8 to daga nan ya fara exposing to freezing kankara why it is from 0 downward zuwa minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 wannan kuma is heat zafi so if the vaccine is been exposed to minus region automatically that vaccine is damaged because it has been exposed to heat and you can never regain that potency once if the vaccine is damaged see element of cold chain system idan muka ce element of cold chain system we have three most important items under the element of culture system one day you must have it one day why i told you guys money material and man they are what we are going to discuss till again because they are the most essential 
Makati Manpower, Irakti Manpower, these are the health workers and other personnel who handle equipment, machinery, vaccine at all levels until vaccine are administered into client. There are community health officers, call chain officers, technicians, drivers and the rest. So these are the people, manpower, so I can feed a man. So you must have them at hand before running any immunization program. Then power supply. Here the Mkimugana power supply, that simply means issues of material. It's under material in some cases, money. Power supply, this refers to a stable power supply source at regular voltage. Electricity, solar power, and alternative generator set are necessary for vaccine storage. The reason why we are in need of power source and machine vaccines then basa sanzaipi sanyi sekiso kuma sanyi baze yubadole we must have a kind of source of electricity. So that is the reason why we must have a source of electricity two four seven in order to make sure that our vaccine are stored at the right temperature but the vaccine are not damaged so in a kind of situation where you do not have electricity in a kind of village kokuma town go clinic we have generators you don't bother we are maintaining generators but due to the cost of scarcity of fuel then we have the solar system as of now i believe majority of the clinics are running on the solar system in order to make sure that the vaccines are not damaged a clean example, you don't come ask to ask you to you are going to see it. They are running on the solar system. Last but not of the list is the coal chain equipment, which is the material. Here are examples of them the coal box, vaccine carrier, ice pack, refrigerator, thermometer, vaccine vial monitor, vehicles, coal room, foam pad, etc., and the rest. You don't look at your coal box the vaccine carrier soon you are in a quarter and the case of vaccine when the doctor gama spool you see now you would she a kafada that is what you buy vaccine carrier called my call box call box is bigger than the vaccine carrier and my way in the scale when you get a pull you so scale use of vaccine carrier we have the ice pack a power one for rover when the case of a watch kk and kara she a kitchen my ice pack refrigerator fridge marad and kara there is a difference between freezer and refrigerator. Refrigerator she name is sign. Freezer she name one day in King Ankara. So here in immunization we are using refrigerator. Thermometer. You all know what is thermometer. The reason for the thermometer is to make sure that the vaccine is between plus two to plus eight. The angazi is at a plus two, you know what to do. The Z how a plus eight, you know what to do. That is the reason of the thermometer presence in every free one refrigerator. Then vaccine vial monitor. What I will talk on it later. Then we have the vehicles. Motor chain that I use in terms of transportation of vaccine. Cold room where the vaccine are being stored, kukuma kept. Foam pad. One and so so when the I can saw a summer vaccine carbon, a summer PRP. She I can chain a foam pad. One of them, but it's a kind of material wonder. You don't answer a chicky to sing in the kitchen cooling cannot easily escape out. That is the reason why it's very important. One of them, but then a cool one of vaccine carrier, a cool one of vaccine box. Then, important of cold chain and final cold chain system. What are the importance of cold chain system? Look at your maintenance of vaccine potency. Once if your culture system is okay, right from manufacturer down to administration center, to your vaccine is not going to be damaged. Live vaccine, which are very fragile, can be kept and preserved for some time. This simply means if your culture right from manufacturer down to administration center is okay, clean, there is no any problem, you can be able to store your vaccine for some period of time without him being damaged. Number three, I can check it help in preventing huge economic wastage. If your culture system link them from A to Z are okay, that simply means a lot of vaccine are not going to be damaged. Once if vaccine are damaged, then that result to economic wastage. And some but now, share can be the economic wastage. Lastly, I can check 
prevention of communicable disease through the use of potent vaccine. Once it is a mature, your vaccine is okay, it's not damaged. Automatically, every child that is going to be vaccinated, he is going to be vaccinated with the right vaccine. Kuma ida is a mature, he is being vaccinated, he is not going to suffer from that particular disease or infection. Problems of cold chain system. Ida mukati you problems of cold chain system. That simply means Masaloli, what are the problems that usually arise in terms of cold chain system? Number one, we have poor irregular power supply. Here in Nigeria, we all know we are suffering from shortage of electricity, from a problem with electricity. So due to that, a lot of vaccines are being damaged. So that is the reason why majority of the cold store and the rest and the clinics, they are using what we call the solar system in order to make sure that the vaccines are not damaged. Number two, Akachi, if fuel scarcity, we are talking of fuel scarcity, before the brought of, sorry please, before the brought of solar system, we were using a kind of standby generator system. If the electricity ceases, then the generator system is going to start and, and continue working. From where the electricity stops. So due to one name problems, then there is a lot of fuel scarcity. If there is no fuel in the generator, automatically that generator is not going to function, and those vaccines are going to be damaged. Inadequate material comes coal box. We are having shortage of coal box. To so due to the shortage of coal box, that simply means those people that are living, like most especially in the rugas, out settlements village some villages that are not close to the city Pokemon that are not having any clinic that simply means they are going to be denied the right of being vaccinated because we do not have enough material that we are going to send some personals to go down to that particular community and vaccinate them so due to one now we have a kind of problem and there is spread of diseases within such kind of region Pokemon community Attitude of health worker, our attitude, being we as the health worker, are you and the rest. Most especially, we normally harass our clients. So due to such kind of harassment and the rest, without calming yourself down, discuss with them, know their problem and talk to them in a kind of way, they are going to accept those vaccination activities. So due to the harassment and talking to them anyhow, we lead to... We lead to a kind of problem when that they are going to stop bringing their children to the vaccination center automatically when there is a great problem so it will lead to the spread of diseases and ever i you harass me as a health worker being me returning home i can talk to my neighbor never take your child to that particular clinic for vaccination activities because the health workers do not have a, they are a kind of how should i call it they doesn't respect their clients. They talk to their client anyhow, any way they like. They do not establish a kind of good rapport between them and their client. So due to one, you will see the information will be moving around and automatically those vaccines that you store in your cold box are going to be damaged because why? People are not bringing their children for vaccination activities due to your attitude, due to my attitude and the rest vandalization of equipment most especially this has been a problem that we are having in terms of immunization activities a lot of health workers that are working on the immunization unit when you get to their houses their chemist pharmacist shop or chemist and this whatsoever you are going to find out that they are having ad syringe immunization syringe that we use in vaccination activities they normally packed it kept it there many majority of us call box that we use in transporting vaccine after the vaccination program instead of them to return it to the clinic they will take it home form part amaida after the program they will take it home the leftover vaccine instead of to return it they will take it home and at the end of the day after taking it home they are not going to use it yena nene dropped in form of picture so due to one now is a vandalization 
Number one, they will be saying that it is government property. Ba'ahaka, you need to change. Sabina, me vandalization is not important. Due to the vandalization, in Shini Aki Sama, shortage of equipment and material. So if the equipment and material are not vandalized anyhow, those materials are going to be in a kind of good order that we can be able to use it to work, Kokuma to distribute, Kokuma to vaccinate many number of people within the community. Poor road network. We are talking of poor road network. In terms of transportation of vaccine from one local government to another, Kokuma from one clinic to another, Kokuma from a clinic to a kind of settlement that do not have clinic. If there is insecurity in that road, automatically vaccines are not going to be transported. Hopefully, the health workers are not going to move to such kind of community for skill for vaccination activities due to insecurity. Again, if the road is not good, automatically not everybody will like to pass through such kind of road to go for immunization program. To do to everyone, no mahe the manager, many health workers, Basa Sanzu are the game at Jura. Sabidemi, Labi, Hanyam, Babu Titi. So, all these are issues of poor road network, the Kuma issues of insecurity, Sekuma political issues. We have a lot of political issues under immunization program. Being you as a political leader, Kokuma Muchi as the minister, Kokuma commissioner. Kokuma the unit head and that is not your field. So due to one abun, that is not your field. People that are under the field are going to make a kind of request. A clean example. I may be a kind of health personnel on working under immunization unit. You, 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 you may be Machek Ila the Minister for Health, Commissioner for Health. I may write a proposal. We are in need of measles vaccine at least one million vials for vaccination activities so due to political issues you are going to dis decrease it into hundred thousand vials to anyway now about our problems simple that you are we have a kind of shortage of target population we cannot be able to vaccinate the whole population that we are expected to cover severely political issues. Kokuma is a manager. The equipment are not even provided for us to even run the program. Kokuma run the immunization activities. So all these are political problems. That is the reason why we are calling for we are calling the attention of the government to install Kokuma to appoint anybody that belongs to such kind of field. Kokuma such kind of that knows anything related to such kind of field. Do not pick somebody from administration and tell him to rule immunization unit. Kokuma pick a medical doctor, tell him to rule immunization unit. There is going to be problems. Sabidemi, you may wrap your request and Shikma is going to deny you and the rest. Such kind of problem usually arise. Sigma inadequate training and retraining of staff. This simply means once if you are a staff in immunization unit, Kokuma you know anything related to immunization, automatically you must be going for retraining. That simply means seminars and workshops in order to obtain more knowledge because every blessed day there is a lot of developments that are coming day in, day out. So it is only during retraining and training and retraining of staff that you can be able to know how to manage some equipment and ever run some kind of items that we are having currently on the immunization unit. As of then, we have DPT vaccine. So there are some personnel that have not gone for a training, who have not attended any seminar workshop. If you are telling them now we do not have DPT vaccine, rather we have pentavalent vaccine, they are going to deny you to begin when there are problems of a training. So that is the reason why in terms of educational aspect, you need to go further because there are some things in your limits they may be told you may not know it. Or amount if you move further. So that is the reason why retraining is very important. Next is vaccine vial monitor. If we are talking of vaccine vial monitor, it is a kind of paper. You know paper. It's just like a paper that is being placed in every vaccine 
which monitor the temperature which that vaccine is being stored. Paper ni zaku ganshi in form of cycle. Cycle paper ni ash in color. Then sikuma akamish dan square da gachiki pari. So wan nam pari nasaki yan square dan. Shiye ke min regulating temperature. Shiye ke monitoring temperature da aka storing vaccine. Idan ang ajya vaccine chikin zaipi. Wan nam wajan zi nuna. Idan vaccine in is being stored a recommended temperature. Shi ma zi nuna. Shiye sa aka chi vaccine vial monitor. Wan da aka chi ma VVM is a level. In aka chi something is level. That simply means something that describes everything. Label on a vaccine vial that change color. I told you guys that change color when vaccine is exposed to heat over a period of time. Therefore, all vaccine is expected to be stored within its normal temperature so that it will not lose its potency. Do you guys want to show a non vaccine then? I'm adjusting a recommended temperature. So, we don't need a VVM vaccine vial monitor. You change the color. Once it changes the color, automatically that vaccine is damaged. You must discard it. See, I got the sh. Baza, I am pani the shiba. Akachi, a good health worker must check the VVM before the opening of a vaccine vial to see whether the vaccine has been damaged by heat. It ends up with okay vial. You pick a vial of vaccine before administration of that particular vaccine. You must check at the VVM to know. This vaccine is it in stage one, stage two, or stage three or stage four? Once if it is in stage three or four, you must discard it. If it is in stage one or two, then you can use it. That simply means the vaccine is still okay. Bila la chiba. Aka chukuma. Other important things to check before using a vaccine include badge number, expiring date, and also the name of the manufacturer. You don't you have, you have you picked a vaccine vial after checking at the B VVM. You need to check the expiring date for you not to inject kokuma inoculate the body of a baby with an SPR vaccine. Not in view kokuma badge number to know what is the badge number because there are some problems that usually arise. It is through the badge number it can be traced what happened that led to such kind of problems kokuma hazard that arise. Then the manufacturer name. Who manufactured that particular vaccine? You must know it. Then next is a clean description on how the VVM is being read. If we can take a look at this this cycles, this rectangular items that I place here. The first one, Akachi stage one, one does Akuga Amishi tick good. Akachi, when the inner square is lighter than the outer square. If the expiring date has not reached, use it. This simply means if you can take a close look at it, you will see we have a kind of cycle. Inside the cycle, we have square inside. To one square in she kitchen the color. So you don't kundu bowanzakuga it is somehow white in color. It is even white in color. That simply means one non vaccine is in stage one. You are allowed to use it. Stage two akachu when the inner square is a bit darker but still lighter than the outer cycle it has not reached its expiring date the vaccine is okay that simply means we have that same cycle then. one day is ash in color square a mass square and parenshi the whitish part inside the square is not as the first one that simply means the vaccine is in stage two you are allowed to use it Stage 3 Akachi, if the inner square is as dark as the outer cycle, do not use it, discard it. That simply means it don't do no okunan. Zaku gabaku iaganin bumbanche between the square and the cycle. They are all the same in color. To save the media, all the same in color. Yes, I'll gaza akasamish star. That simply means you are not allowed to use this vaccine. This particular vaccine is damaged. You must discard it. Last but not of the less, you know, is stage four. When the inner square is darker than the outer cycle, do not use this vaccine. Discard it. In Zakudu, but the last one, you can see we have the cycle. We have the ash color in it. Then the cycle, the square we are having inside the cycle is somehow black in color. I believe you can see it. 
So that simply means when a particular vaccine is in stage 4, automatically this vaccine is damaged. You must discard it. This is to tell you that stage 3 and stage 2, when the vaccine has, has been exposed to heat, any exposing in one vaccine in Zua Gazaparana, Kokuma Zaipi, he has a stage 3, the Kuma stage 4, Salalachi. Stage 1 and 2, they are the ones that are good, that are allowed to be used. He has a thick good. A clean example for you to understand. Look at the picture here. The first one here is stage 1. You can see this whitish part inside the cycle, the square, very bright. The second one, which is stage 2, not as bright as the first one. The third one, which is stage 3, Zakuga, you cannot be able to cite any size square inside. Why the stage 4 Zakuga Nishi? The square inside is very dark. So this is totally chewa. Once if a vaccine is in stage 3 and 4, you must discard it. You must not use it. Next what we are going to discuss about is what we call shake test from the word shake that simply means to shake something so the shake test here it simply means shake test Mukachi, this shake test is a type of test that is done or carried out on liquid vaccine that is suspected to be frozen or completely black here, what is happening here, in terms of VVM, what we just finished discussing, one name is both, both on liquid and solid vaccine. If you have liquid vaccine, those are vaccines that are in watery form. If you have solid vaccine, so you need a vaccine when the skin is in form of gari. So, they can use the VVM and are read it so if they are being exposed to heat. And my shake test the name. The main access of shake test is to know if a vaccine is completely blocked. That simply means an amount of liquid vaccine, the vaccine the skin am as a rua. It then sing kina sang kokum if you want to know. It don't kuna sang kosancho wa non particular vaccine in yai kangara kokuma yai freezing to shini akin shake test. Shake test and shiki tima kadu mung agani idem wa non vaccine then is has been blocked. Ku yai kangara. Shina akache take notes. We have forms of vaccine which are solid form and liquid form when are the forms of vaccine color when are the liquid when are the solid how much you shake test anama liquid vaccine ne ba solid vaccine ba the following steps are carried out during the shake test it actually steps that simply means hang you in the ikv agani chewa one particular vaccine in yai gangara the steps are as follows Number one, Akachi pick a vaccine vial of the same type, the same batch number with the vial that you are suspected to be frozen. This simply means either in other vaccine, in a tenancho non vaccine in yak and gara, sa and non kuma de yak and gara se anarchy, send a cure non particular vaccine, check the SPR in date, the manufacturing date, the manufacturer name, and then the batch number. Those particular items are very important. You don't know do say in Nemo a vaccine from another clinic that is having the same batch number, the same expiring date, the same manufacturing date, and the same from the same manufacturer. Kwanga we are having two different vaccines. Am I read that? The same vaccine, the same company, the same everything. Am I now on my own? I'm thinking it has been frozen. The one I collected from another clinic, that one has not been frozen. So I want to test to know Iden Shiasana and so on chan. I collected the one that has not been frozen from other clinic. My own I am suspecting. Not that it has been frozen. I am suspecting it has been frozen. Number two, say Akachi. Clearly mark the frozen vial. Here is my own. My own is I'm suspecting is frozen. This one and it's not frozen so i can mark my own with letter a the one that i want to use to conduct the test i will mark it as letter b letter a is from my clinic letter b is from the next clinic the one i collected i can freeze freeze the test vial at 20 degrees overnight until content are completely solid this simply means 
vaccine the name do vaccine i mark with letter b i am to freeze it i am to put it inside a freezer at least at 20 degrees celsius i should allow it over the period of 96 or the seven hours or eight hours we are having within the night period i should allow that vaccine to become completely frozen that simply means about one vaccine in yei kankara vaccine beacon and one i collected from the next clinic after it has been frozen let the test vial to dose by itself not by heating one non vaccine in the kankara the one that has been completely frozen that simply means the vaccine b i should keep it i should not add any forms of artificial mist for it to melt mm -mm. i should allow it to melt by itself Koda kwana na zedoga koda how many days or hours it's going to take before it melts i should allow it to melt by itself i should not add, apply any artificial heat for it to melt i should allow it to melt by itself next take the test vial from the same batch number that you are suspected to be frozen the same step at number one so after it has melt completely you need to compare again to make sure that they are from the same manufacturer the same company the same expiring date the same manufacturing date sigma kache take your test vial from the same okay that's what we just finished saying hold the frozen vial and the test vial together at the same hand that simply means you are to hold the two vials on your hands the test and the frozen which is the vaccine a and vaccine b my own vaccine and one i collected from the next clinic i should hold them together sigma akachi shake both of them vigorously for at least 10 to 15 seconds this simply means if i hold the two of them on my two hands like this i am to shake it vigorously i am to shake it for at least 10 to 15 seconds after shaking then that is when i'm going sorry please <coughs> <coughs> after shaking both of the two vials vigorously for 10 to 15 seconds then i am to place the two vaccine on a flat surface if we are talking of a flat surface that simply means wajideke na flat babu gargada I am to place the two of them on a flat surface, the two vaccine, and then continue observation. When actually continue observation, continue watching at the two vaccine that you just finished shaking. After placing them, you continue watching them step by step. They actually use adequate light to compare the sedimentation rate between both vial. Same as a kind of source of light, not lantern. A kind of light that is very bright bright we can use at least a kind of torch light a kind of fluorescent light a security light that any light that is very bright that is what we are going to use in times of observation you place the light between the vaccines the two vaccines a and b and continue observing and watching both of them so as a result of watching both of them you are going to notice here the test vial said meant slower than the frozen vial, then use the vaccine is okay. That simply means the vaccine B, if it said meant faster than the vaccine A, that simply means vaccine A is okay. Vaccine A is not frozen. That simply means vaccine in the case of the vaccine B, the vaccine in the case of the vaccine B, if the test vial sediment faster than the frozen vial or both of the sedimented rate is the same discard all affected vaccine they are damaged it is a matter why yen and yet the sick is sedimenting in akache sedimenting kama yanzu in kinsa ba kasa a chikin ruwa in kika kada kika kifa shi zaki ga yadda kasan ke sauka ko to wannan shi ake ce sedimentation to yayin observation na sedimentation din if both of them both vaccine a and b idan yanayin saukan su is the same ko kuma shi vaccine a din yana sauran sauka akan vaccine b to automatically duk vaccine din da ke fresh din na in the liquid vaccine ne sun lalace they are damaged i must discard all of them sabida me 
de sirga sun yi kankara wannan test din da na shi ya nuna cewa those vaccines has been damaged saboda me segmentation redness is either ya zo the same thing ko kuma ya zo faster than the vaccine b for you to better understand it better i'm going to send a kind of short video on shake test so that you can be able to see it clearly and understand it so with this i think here has come to the end of our first episode of our lectures after it we are going to have a kind of small or short test which after the test we are going to continue from where we stopped thank you for listening god bless you